All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Chakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings, Shalom, unto the elect, starting with 144,000, uh, which are going to be men. And um, just mentioning 144,000 men, all right, which is going to be the heart of the elect, man, the most high have gifted them with a great deal of faith and um that's pretty much what i want to go into uh go into through the spirit uh today and just dealing with the fact that this had to be a gift and just get and, and given to the ones of the hopeful elect because we're not in a time of miracles uh we don't have you how we shy walking the earth and and and, and showing us certain things man all right, we're in the lowest uh, uh, state as a nation. Uh, you're talking about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in, uh, in the history of Israel, man. All right, everybody is against us, man, for us to be uh, coming out and saying that we're the chosen people in this low condition as a people, man. It's a joke to the world, man. All right, but the Most High uh, put a, a, a great deal of faith in us to, to hear this word and believe it without having to seek a sign or some type of proof, man. All right, that's the whole essence of faith, man. All right, believing in something that you can't see, man. All right, hoping for for salvation out of this place, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing to be some edification in this video, and I want to uh, start off with a quick account with uh, Yahweh Shai and uh, Peter, man. Okay, this is uh, the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 14, starting at verse 28. It says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, Wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, of, of, a, of a true truth, thou art the son of Yahweh. And when they... Well, that's really the point right there, man, in verse 33, man. But I want to bring that account out just real quick to show that... Back in those times, man, uh, Yahweh Shah was building up the faith of, uh, of the disciples by showing them certain miracles, man, by showing them great acts, man, all right, setting them up for the time when they would have to go out and do the same thing uh, uh, is concerning healing people, man, and, and, and making people whole, man, doing uh, great things according to, well, I'm going to grab the scripture real quick. This is uh, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, but ye shall receive power, and after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and, all, and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth, man. Okay, so before uh, uh, Peter and the, uh, the other apostles had got to the level they were at, man, to go out in, uh, in full faith and go out and do great works, man, filled with the Holy Spirit, and to go out and basically to, uh, to uh, uh, perform miracles, man, by healing people, man, all right? And what was that doing? That was uh, uh, building the faith of the Israelites that was set to uh, to wake up uh, uh, and repent, man, all right? But now in this time, we don't have, we don't, it's not, we're not in the time of miracles, man, all right? We just, we heard the word, man, and the Most High through his son uh, uh, allowed the Holy Spirit to come unto us, man, and we believed, man. And that's why uh, the world, these Christians, man, even a lot of these uh, other Israelite camps, they, they can't understand uh, um, the severity of this thing, man, because they don't have full faith, man, all right, as uh, as the apostles uh, of Great Millstone and on down have, man, all right, the ones that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, man, all right, the Most High have gave us a great deal of faith, man, all right, to not see any type of miracles, and yeah, now we're seeing, uh, uh, brothers are seeing uh, uh, chariots and different things of that nature, but when we first got this thing, man, we just heard it, and it's like, oh shit, okay, fuck the world. This is what this is about, man. Okay, this this makes sense. Okay, this lines up with that. Okay, salvation is for us. All right, man, I, I'm ready. What, 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 what I got to do, man? All right. 
But that's why you see men that don't last because they get that same uh, mentality, man. They get hear the word, it's exciting, it's fun to them. But then I got the question I ask, like, what do I got to do next, man? Then comes the hell, the discipline, all right, the order, the growth, the fighting, man, all right, the demons, all right? And the faithful are going to continue to persevere no matter what, man, all right? Because the Lord ha is dealing with it, man, okay? It's like it's really bugging, and mainly, it's, uh, especially these Christians, man, that's been claiming, they've been claiming, they've been holding the word for so long, but now uh, uh, these raggedy Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are standing up and saying that they are the children of Israel. Now it's a major issue, man, all right? And then they're doing something that's never been done as far as going out and teaching this word, man, uh, uh, and, and, and providing all the answers, defending the gospel, man. All right, and they looking like, well, what are you gaining from it? All right, they don't see the spiritual aspects of what we uh we are gaining, man. All right, as far as the knowledge, and then they don't understand that we hoping for the kingdom, which is gonna come very soon, man. All right, Lord willing, it could be this year, next year, man. All right, but we understand that there's order and everything, and there's certain prophecies that have to come to pass before that, man. Okay, I want to uh, jump over the book of Second Corinthians chapter four and verse one. All right, I'm going to try to run through these uh, verses as quick as possible, man, for time's sake. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. It says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscious in the sight of Yahweh, man. So when we receive uh, this word, man, and understand that we was coming in to serve the Heavenly Father, man, we put away all the things that would uh, uh, distract us from doing this work and doing it properly, man. All right? We got away from things of dishonesty, man, not walking in craftiness, man. All right? Handling this word the proper way, man. Why? Because of our faith, all right? And fear of what would happen if we would mishandle the Most High's word, man. All right? If we would give up and faint, man not continue doing the work man all right be dishonest with our brothers all different things that you can do to go against uh, uh um the law statute and commandments of the heavenly father and then you're walking this truth man okay but reading on it says but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the god of this world that god being lowercase of this world had uh blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach shall uh, slack you. Uh, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, shall shine unto them. So it said the gospel, and the gospel is the good news, man. All right, from front to back, this is, man, this is the greatest story ever told, man. All right, and it's, and it's great unto the children of Israel, man. It's got it's got the downsides, it's got the punishment, but ultimately, man, Israel is gonna uh, uh, be rewarded with a kingdom, man. All right, even the wicked of our nation is gonna die on this side here in America, man. They're gonna uh, receive uh, 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 receive the kingdom as well, man, and be born uh, as a righteous seed in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, but the rest, uh, uh, but uh, just real quick, just going back to verse three, man. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. All right, two thirds of our people here in America are, uh, are completely lost. Why? Because they've been uh, uh, blinded uh, uh, by the God of this world, man. Okay, which is Esau, Edom, man. All right, the devil, man, operating under Satan, man. Provided all his forms of entertainment, man. This uh, this phony money, these FRNs, man. All right, a uh, 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 freedom, a free world to get into adultery, man. And people can't understand, like, damn, how can you got oh, all of the things you can do here in America and y'all choosing to go follow uh, 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 some book, all right, talking about some kingdom and chariots and all these crazy things where well, it sound crazy to the ears of men, man, all right? They don't understand faith because they don't have it, man, which is faith is a gift, all right? Faith is what took us away from that, man, that, that, that opened our eyes unto the truth so we wouldn't be blinded anymore, man. But the rest of the, uh, our people, they're completely blind, blind unto the truth, man, all right, because they caught up in Esau's world, man, okay? 
but reading on, it says, uh, for, for we preach not ourselves, but Mashiach Yahweh Shah the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shah's sake. For Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts. All right, so it was the Most High, man. All right, the Most High uh, 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 commanded Yahweh Shah to, to give us the light, man. All right, to open up our understanding, man, to give us the Holy Spirit to be able to understand this word, man, and give us faith to believe what we were hearing, man. That's the whole point of it, man. All right, everybody didn't heard the word, but only the elect is going to hear it and stick with it, man. Okay, without having to seek a sign, without having to wait and get, do some soul searching, man. All right, okay, and further down in the chapter, it's going to get to that, man. Uh, but this is 2 Corinthians 4. And verse 6 again, it says, For Yahweh who commanded the light to shine out of darkness out, hath shined in our hearts, man. And we know the heart is talking about our mind, man. Okay? So the Most High has set Yahweh Shai up to open up our minds unto the truth, man, and give us faith to believe every word in his book, man. Okay? It says, To give, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Okay, so it's, it's letting you know. It says the light of the knowledge, man. All right, the understanding of this knowledge, man. All right, which everybody can get, man, because you have to have faith to believe in this, man. All right, not just a few things, man. You have to believe in every promise of this book, every prophecy. You have to believe in the history. You have to believe in the laws. Okay. We're reading on, it says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us, man. All right, so it says we have this treasure and letting you know already the treasure is the knowledge, man. Wisdom and understanding and these earthen vessels and these raggedy ass bodies, man. All right, we have the most precious knowledge on the face of the earth, man. All right, which is gonna be our salvation as well, man. Grab a quick precept just to back that up. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right? And we know uh, uh, what the fear of the Lord, man. That's that's the beginning of, of everything, man, which starts us on the road to wisdom, man. All right? To attain in this word, man. All right? When we heard, the, uh, heard about the destruction or whatever it may be, it put that fear in you. And you're like, well, what do I have to do to... to to escape that destruction, man. All right? And, and, and to believe in what we have to do to go out on the highways and byways, man, week in and week out, man, constantly do lessons, man, uh, 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 keep the high holy days, all right? Make sure you're keeping the laws, the ones that we can't keep here in Babylon, man. That takes a great deal of faith, man, okay? But in these earthen vessels, man, which you read in, uh, uh, back in uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, I'll bring it out again. It says, but we have this treasure, talking about this knowledge, in these earthen vessels, talking about the bodies, man. Okay? It says that the excellency, excellency of the power of Shalakia, that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us, man. So that's the, you look at how the Most High set it up, man. All right, took us in these weak bodies and put this great knowledge in us, and now we uh, 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 have been defending this gospel at all costs, man. All right, now it's riling up the earth, man. All right, and the glory is going to go to uh, to the Most High. We're not seeking uh, uh son that we got any type of power, man. The power lies in the knowledge uh, which comes from the Heavenly Father, man, which dwells with him forever. Okay, verse 8, it says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, man. When I'm thinking of, uh, you had Polite recently, man, basically pushing people to sell out for this money, man, all right, to be rich, man. All right, why? Because he, uh, through all this, uh, this trouble and the hell that we catch as Israelites, man, all right, whether you're in the truth or not, man, he feel that the only way to, to, to come out on top is to sell out to Esau, man. All right, but we have faith in the Heavenly Father's promises and the kingdom of heaven, man. 
All right, so we fight and deal with these things. We understand that the Most High is putting hell on us, but not to destroy us, man. Not to he cast us off, but then he set up his son Yahweh Shai to be that ultimate uh, sacrifice to bring us back under the fold so he can make good on the inheritance that he promised us, man. Okay? Uh, verse 10, it says, uh, Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Yahweh, of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shah may be made manifest in our body. For we for we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shah's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shah might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Okay, so the life is in Yahweh Shah, man. We're we 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 have become dead to to uh uh to the corner in a carnal sense, man, and, and we had gained life. In the spiritual, uh, uh, in the spirit, man, through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, but this is the point I wanted to get to in verse 13, man. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. It says, We having the spirit of faith according as it is written, the spirit of faith, man. Okay? The spirit of faith, man, is worded that way for a reason, man. Okay? Because you can't just go get faith, man. You can't go pick it up at Walmart, man. All right, you can't get on Amazon and shit and, 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 and order faith, man. All right, it's the spirit, man. All right, and what is that? The Holy Spirit, man. All right, which gave us uh, uh, the understanding of this word and, uh, and to believe in it, man. Once we heard it, man, we didn't need no convincing, man. The spirit was placed upon the Most High's elect, man. Whoever they meet, they meet. That may be. That's why we're fighting to endure until the end, man. Okay? But it says, uh, Reading on, it says, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. So we believed and we spoke what we believed, man. We start teaching this word, man. Okay? Say, this is what Paul, the message he was giving unto the Israelites in Corinth, man. Okay? It says, we also believe and therefore speak. And how do we speak? Going out on the highways and byways, man, man. Looking crazy. Uh, uh, crazy uh, as uh, goddamn pit bulls in a hubcap factory, man. But we out there in full faith, man, knowing that this is the only way to receive salvation, man. All right? We're not in a time of miracles. We don't have Yahweh Shai here to, to, to grab us and comfort us, man. Well, he does comfort us. That's why he left this book, man. All right? But only the faithful is going to read this book and believe in it, man. Okay? The ones that have the Holy Spirit uh, dwelling in them, man. Okay? Uh, this is uh, the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. And verse 12, it says that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Mashiach, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth. We heard the word of truth, man. All right? We heard we was the Israelites, man. We heard Esau was our enemy. We heard the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. We heard the fact that we have a kingdom waiting on us, man. Okay? The gospel, all right, the good news of our salvation, man. All right? We've been catching hell our whole life, man, uh, depending on uh, how old you was when you got the, uh, the knowledge of this word, man, all right, and heard the gospel. But we have the gospel of salvation, the good news that, man, this shit is not going to last forever. The Most High has a kingdom waiting on us, man. All right? And for us to make it the first go around and not be destroyed and on this side by thermonuclear fire, there's going to be certain things that we're going to have to go through, man. All right? And you're going to have to endure through them and fight through them, but that's only going to happen if you have faith, man. All right? That's why you see guys fall out because they never truly had faith in this book, man. They really never saw the kingdom of heaven in their mind. They never saw the destruction coming. All right? So uh, finna back it up, I'm going to start from the top of Ephesians 1 and 13. It says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the... See, it says, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And it said, if, In whom ye also trusted, all right, without seeing them. No matter I'll grab that precept next, man. Uh, it says, In whom ye also trusted, all right, to be what? To be our Savior, man. To deliver us from this hell. We trusted... And all the promises dealing with Yahweh Shah coming back to deliver us uh, out of this destruction and this, uh, this wicked ass kingdom, man. Okay? It says, After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also, after that, ye believed 
and were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, man. All right, well, we heard this word, man, and we believed it, man. All right, and then what? We were sealed. The people that didn't believe, they not sealed with the Holy Spirit of, of, of promise, man. Promise of what? Promise of the kingdom, man. Promise of salvation uh, uh, versus uh, sitting here um, ignorantly waiting on destruction, man. Don't People not realizing that the only reason they're here is for the sake of the elect. The only reason you, you people are still breathing, you Christians, you heathens, all right, two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the only reason you still breathing, all right, and walking the earth is because uh, for the sake of the elect and the Most High's prophecy uh, uh, yet to be, uh, the rest of his prophecies uh, yet to be fulfilled, man, all right? But to us, we are sealed with the, the promise, the, uh, the Holy Spirit of promise, man, all right? The rest of these people, what they got to hope for, man, all right? Would would uh, if they uh if they the, whatever football basketball team in their city is gonna get a championship, all right? If they gonna get get that raise at work, man, all right? And niggas uh, stay in the kingdom to uh to see Bad Boys Three. Man, we hoping for the kingdom, man. Bad with me. I'm trying to find the scripture. Con this uh this is the book of John chapter twenty and verse twenty nine. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto, them, to, unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. And this was uh, right after, uh, well, matter of fact, let me read up a little bit. Uh, it's John 20 and 24. It says, but Thomas, one of the twelve called uh, Did Didymus, uh, uh, called Didymus, was not with them when Yahweh Shai came. The other disciples, the other disciples, uh, therefore said unto him we have seen the Lord but said unto them except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side I will not believe and and after eight days again his disciples were within and Thomas with them then came Yahweh shot the doors of being shut and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then, then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my power. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because, because so th uh, Thomas uh, uh, didn't believe, man. All right, he said, I need proof. I need to I need to be able to stick my